Morning. Morning. What's happening today? Oh, we're gonna be going and filming with a Carrera GT. We are filming, well, we're doing a fitness video. Yes. But before that, we figured a friend called us and said, I've got a Carrera GT. Wait, I've got to let this person pass. Okay, sorry, I'm back. So, a friend called and said, do you want to check out my Carrera GT? So we were like, before the fitness part of this video, why don't we check out this Carrera GT? So I'm gonna go hop in, you're gonna follow, yeah. and it should be a good day. Let's do it. I'll see you in a bit. See you in a bit. Super, merci. Uh, I wanted to show you where this car's from. It's on RM Autosport. We've got Josh and the Clio, and then the Carrera GT right there. So huge thanks to these guys for organizing this for us today. And I'm now going to hop back into the car. You can tell they've got lots of really, really sick cars. I'm gonna hop back in now, and we are going to go up into the mountains. What a beast, the noise. Beautiful. I'm already in love. We are in the mountains. What an animal this car is. Sliding all over the place. I've heard the stories on this car, but seeing it in real life, how it's sort of skitty and the back will pop out, it's amazing. To give you a few stats quickly, this car, naturally aspirated V10, which you can hear. It's such a beast, it's slipping and sliding all over the place. Over 600 horsepower, naturally aspirated V10, basically no driver aid, manual gearbox. This is what it's all about, guys. This is what dreams are made of. Beautiful interior as well. The color, carbon everywhere. I mean, I don't even know how to describe it to you. It is absolutely amazing. <laughs> that is the best drift I have ever been involved in in my whole life. Prairie GT on a mountain road. <laughs> Car control right there guys. That is amazing. Speechless. I don't know what to say. This is what as a kid, the stuff where you go to sleep at night, you have a dream and you wake up like nah that couldn't have happened. Well, it's happening right now. What a way to start the day. Well, we've come up to our favorite spot here, Ted du Chien, which actually means head of the dog, with the Carrera GT, which looks absolutely stunning. That was literally one of the best drives I've ever had. And we are going to take the roof off, I think, now of the car and uh, sort of experience that. Are you gonna grab the camera? Got the camera. <laughs> How crazy was that? Unreal. Right? Like, the driving. The sliding behind is just yeah, 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 yeah. mad. Because I was like, you know, you're in the car and you can feel it going and then you're like, wow, that's a lot of angle. Oh, you that's wait crazy. till you see the footage. Yeah, I can't wait. So to take the roof off, you unclip underneath there and then you just lift off. Light. Yeah, it's light. Yes. Everything all carbon. Similar to the 918 system. That's one of my favorite things about these Porsche hypercars is you can have them as a as a roadster. I'm a big fan of convertibles. So this works well and it fits perfectly in the boot. Now, look at this beauty. Oh yeah. Some people have come to check the car out, but I figured before we drive down, I might just give you a quick tour of the whole car. So come with me. Crow GT V10, as I told you before, over 600 horsepower. It's a race car derived engine, which is pretty special. And then if you come round back, carbon all down the side here. You've got these jet-like exhausts, which sound amazing. You guys know that the V10 on this Crow GT is one of the best sounding engines. It's pretty cool to see one that's not silver, that's black. And then if you come round the inside, it's got to be one of the most gorgeous interiors I have seen. This leather color is just spectacular. And if you skip in a bit more, you'll see carbon on the sills here, carbon on the door, carbon in the center side there. The wooden gear knob is just beautiful. 
absolutely stunning and it's actually surprisingly comfortable the seats are quite upright which is something I noticed on the 918 as well and oh, that sounded something, something I noticed on the 918 you know being in it and he is such a good driver the guy so good it is insane he was just like do you want me to slide the car I was like yeah yeah why not and then just driving in a straight line just all of a sudden it snaps I mean he catches it but I can see why it's got a reputation for being a sort of hard to yeah. control car and dangerous car because we we're just going in a straight line and then all of a sudden it's like mm -hmm, like that so it's pretty amazing but we need to drive back down now because we need to get working out later yep Drop. Well, give me five press ups go five press ups you ready let's start the workout one two three four five <laughs> those <laughs> that don't was awful. <laughs> yeah those are awful let's head back down the hill <laughs> comfortable actually it's quite bumpy these roads I don't know if you guys can see they're quite bumpy ahead but it actually still feels controllable and I've just got this beautiful interior to stare around which is lovely oh, now that that is a drift and a half right there that is how it's done I'm getting schooled right now Perfect, perfect drift right there in a Crow GT. It for car guys, it just does not get much better than this. Rightio, we've got him back, and that was the best way to start the morning. We need to go work out now, don't we? That was our pre-work. I've got I've got all of my my protein clothing on, so I'm ready. I've, it's got under this because I actually forgot to take another jumper. But <laughs> we are going to head out now to where should we go? Because it started raining. Uh, let's have a think. Let's have a little think. But the Crow GT is back here now. That was. The most amazing way to start the day and I'm just looking forward to seeing the video because I saw you filming the drifting and stuff. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited. So yeah, anyways, let's get on with the work. Did you realize what time it was? No. Well, we, I just did and I've made the executive decision that before we go to the gym, let's go get some food. It's a good shout. Yeah? Yeah. And there's a restaurant I really like right down here and it's 1.30 so we might as well grab a bite to read and then go to the gym. I reckon let's go to the gym at the um, Hermitage Hotel yeah. in the end. Yeah. Uh, just because it's a nice gym there and we've got some mates staying there so we yeah. might as well just go there and work out with them and include it all in one. But Perfect. In Fontvieille, which is an area of Monaco you hadn't been to before. No, what's that behind you? Well, that right there is the Oceanographic Museum. Um, so it's just back, basically a massive museum with loads of fish in it. Can you imagine living there? It would be quite boring. <laughs> yeah. All of this used to be sea. This is all... Uh, yeah, I cannot believe that. Yeah, it's crazy, Dubai style. Yeah. But apparently they're going to build before 2028 an island extension to Monaco that could double the size of Monaco. Wow. So, what you want to do is, is like, sell your property in Monaco yeah. before you open that because then the supply will go way up. I was going to say. Will remain the same. Yeah. How happy are you right now? Yeah? Is that what you wanted? Well, Josh, <laughs> we've made it to where we're going to be working out. We're just yep. in one of the rooms here. And look at this view over the port of Monaco. This is madness. Which boat? That one. That big massive. Are you ready to work out? Let's do it. Let's get to it. We've ended up here. We've ended up here. We've come to see Wolsey, <laughs> <laughs> who is in town, and we are going to gym. What are we doing today? Chest. Chest. Yep. Let's do chest. Shall we head down to the... You, you haven't... Can I just show this? This is how Josh has come prepared to go to the gym. Yeah. Nicely done. Now you Thank left you. everything in the car, didn't you? Yeah. This is it. Right. What's the first uh, call of action? Go on, son. Go on. Oh, yes. That workout. I am so out of place over here. All right. We've got tunes in this room. Now we can film a bit more because we couldn't really film too much before. Because we don't want to show the other people in the gym this yeah. But now we can film more because we found this, this fun little room to ourselves. Yeah. So, uh, by, by the way, I genuinely don't really know anything about fitness. 
or Jimmy, so that's why Josh is basically... But what we're trying to achieve here is a, a year's transformation. 12 months, I want to be, I don't want to be like a cloud, like a mass, I just want to be in shape. Yeah. I want to, you know, look in shape and be in shape. Exactly. So oh. with the supplements and the gym and everything like that. Supplements and everything should all be We should uh, be good. So now we're going to do some press-ups. Let's do some press-ups. I know, I know what they are. Yeah? I got those. No, they're not them. Oh, good. No, I'm joking, they are. Okay. <laughs> Right, we're going to be doing a wall stand. We're going to do a wall stand. Here we go. And then we're going to try and do some press ups. Oh my god. A year from now, we'll be banging out 10. You good? Try it, Seb. Damn. Jesus. Oh, that's impressive. That will not love in any of my <laughs> It looks like it's all in your head, don't stand up too far. So maybe in a year from now we can bang out 20. Yep. <laughs> Get it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a crazy day for us. Again, we really enjoyed making this. And please remember to subscribe. Ooh, shout out. Let's do it in the car. Shout out. Shout out. Sorry, that was very last second. Nearly forgot the shout out. But today's shout out goes to Wayne Speedy 007 Thank you so much for watching the videos. If you want a shout out, remember to comment down below. And we'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye. Hey, Quick cap saying it, Saturday in the mouth. There's no Julie.